Hello all, welcome to Telephone Trainings. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we read a file from FTP as well as how do we write a file to FTP. Okay, and let me show you the sample first. Like uh, this is my sample. I have these set of four shapes: start and stop shape, and in the middle I have FTP read shape as well as FTP write shape. Okay, so for this particular sample, we need to use a connection that's called FTP connection. And what you can do is there are multiple ways of creating a connection. The first thing what you can do is when you just click on a build. So the first welcome screen it opens right so here you can create a connection component just click on connection here and i'll just show you ftp connection to and folder you can select the appropriate folder if you have multiple folders select the appropriate one and select the connector as ftp and mention the host name and mention the port number and here you can mention the username and password so in my case i just mentioned this particular one and mention the password Click on apply and uh, save and close. So now the connection gets created. You can also observe the connection here. So FTP connection to the one which we created just now. And the next coming to the next one is we have to create a process, right? So I will show you the existing process. So in the process, the first thing, the best thing is, you know, like a start with a start process, drag and drop the start process, or, you know, like when you click on when you click on process right so here if you observe let us say when you click on process by default it will ask you what do you want to start with the shape which shape you want to start with you can also select connector as ftp and you can do with that or you can simply select no data and mention start like this right so this is you know this is how you can create start and similarly you have a stop shape like you can just type stop and you can mention stop shape like this and now we have start and stop shape and the next thing is here, if you observe, I have FTP read as well as FTP write, right? So for FTP read, what you do is you click on technology connections, the connect, you have an option called FTP, you have a technology connection called FTP, click on that. And now here, if you see, I'll show you the existing property, existing FTP read operation, which I have done, click on configure. Here, if you observe, what are the properties I have mentioned on the FTP read operation is the first thing is FTP display name as read, connector is my FTP, uh, connector type as FTP, action is get nothing but I, first of all i want to read the files and the connection what is my connection name right the connection name here if you observe earlier i created a connection with the connection of ftp cynn i'll mention that and then operation right so it is an existing existing one that's why it is showing edit icon but if you are creating a first time it will show a plus icon so i'll just click on edit here and here i mention what is my action it's the get action and what is the inbound directory so in my case my directory location from which i need to read a file is slash inbound so i'll mention the inbound directory location so generally when you're reading a files in the ftp right it doesn't need to mention the total full path we just we just need to mention the location according to the user which you're using so that's how it works i mean for my user if i want to access the file it starts with slash followed by appropriate directory name but actual file system location could be a different uh, actual file system navigation and everything will be different but this is how we have it works right so for my user here here if you observe and i use a Win SAP to read the files, it just shows slash inbound, but it doesn't mean it is slash root, right? It, slash is generally root in the Unix kind of uh, Unix particular box, but here slash is nothing but the directory location for which this user is having access. Okay, now I'll just mention slash inbound, mention the list of files, uh, the file filtering stuff, and then yeah, that's it. It doesn't need to change anything. And this is a FTP read operation. And similarly, you can do the FTP write operation here. If you observe, I'll just click on configure. And for both, I'm using the same connection. But let us say in your real time, there is a chance that you know, like you need to read data from one particular FTP. And if you want to write the file to another FTP, yes. What you can do is create another connection and mention the appropriate operation, right? So now here we have to select the action as send because I want to push the data into the destination. So I need to select the action as send and connection. You need to select the appropriate connection and operation. So what you have to do is just mention the directory to which you want to write it. And you can also mention the appropriate action here, overwrite file exist or create unique file exists. You have a list of options here, select the appropriate one and close it. So now here, what I'll do is let us test here. Before testing, let me remove the data from my, so in my inbound, I have three files and in my outbound, yes, no files, right? So what I do is I'll just click on test. I have a local uh, atom. So I'll select my local atom and click on run test. So let's see now. Yep, it went. It is doing a FTP write. Done, right? Click on refresh. We have the three files. 
and here if you can also observe the data and one important thing here if you observe the file name is different the file name is dynamically assigned by the Dell Bumi FTP connector but there are number of ways you can achieve or you can retain the source file name okay so that we'll discuss in later session but at this point so one thing you have to understand is when it, it reads a file it simply considers the data from the file and just dumps the data into another destination file it doesn't it doesn't care about what is your source file name okay so now you can also just click on this particular connection here and you can see the file name right so we have these three file names right connection data and it just simply wrote these file names it is not showing what is a file name because it just considers the data and simply dumps the data into the destination and there are a number of ways using a groovy script or using a mapper shape using a shape, property shape there are a number of ways you can achieve it okay thank you